The Iraq War was a conflict that began on March 20, 2003, when the United States and a coalition of other countries invaded Iraq. This war is also known as the Second Gulf War or the Iraq War. The war was a result of a series of events that began in the aftermath of the 9-11 terrorist attacks in the United States. The U.S. government claimed that Iraq possessed weapons of mass destruction and was supporting terrorism, and the invasion was justified as part of the war on terror. The U.S. government, led by President George W. Bush, argued that Saddam Hussein's regime posed a grave threat to the United States and its allies. The Bush administration also alleged that Saddam Hussein was developing weapons of mass destruction, which could be used against the United States or its allies. The United Nations Security Council passed several resolutions calling on Iraq to comply with weapons inspections and disarmament, but the inspections failed to produce evidence of weapons of mass destruction. Despite the lack of evidence, the U.S. and its allies went ahead with the invasion, which was codenamed Operation Iraqi Freedom. The coalition forces, led by the U.S. military, quickly overthrew the Iraqi government and captured Baghdad. Saddam Hussein was captured in December 2003 and executed in 2006. The war was initially popular in the United States, with many Americans supporting the decision to invade Iraq. However, the public's perception of the war changed as casualties mounted, the U.S. military suffered more than 4,400 fatalities, with many more wounded or suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. The conflict also resulted in the deaths of an estimated 100,000 Iraqi civilians. The Iraq War was also a financial drain on the United States, with the cost of the war estimated to be in the trillions of dollars. The war also damaged the United States' reputation in the international community, with many countries critical of the decision to invade Iraq without UN approval. The aftermath of the war was also problematic. The U.S. military found it difficult to establish a stable government in Iraq, with sectarian violence and political instability increasing in the years following the invasion. The country was eventually left with a power vacuum that allowed the rise of extremist groups, including ISIS. Critics of the Iraq War argue that the war was based on false premises and that the U.S. government missled the public and the international community. Some also argue that the war was a result of U.S. imperialism and an attempt to control Middle Eastern oil reserves. Proponents of the war argue that Saddam Hussein was a brutal dictator who posed a threat to the United States and its allies. They also argue that the world is better off without him in power and that the war was necessary to promote democracy and stability in the Middle East. In conclusion, the Iraq War was a controversial conflict that had far-reaching consequences. While the U.S. government justified the invasion as a necessary response to a perceived threat, the lack of evidence for weapons of mass destruction and the subsequent destabilization of the region have led many to question the decision to go to war. The legacy of the Iraq War serves as a cautionary tale of the potential consequences of aggressive military intervention and the importance of fact-based decision-making in foreign policy. Thanks for sticking through the video. Like and subscribe to the channel to learn something new each day.